Welcome back guys. In the previous video of this section, you learned how to create a floor stand using simple spline and loft. This, sec this section will teach you a quick method on how to create a floor raise using lathe modifier. The lathe modifier converts a simple shape into a 3D object by revolving the shape around one of the axes. So you will learn how to use that to create a weights. So stay with me. Okay, just start by going to create shapes and line. Then draw a half and inner slide of the weights. I had already done this in my front viewport to save the time. So you can go and uh, just create a line like that uh, uh, on the shape of ways. So I had just created that before because uh, to just uh, save the time. While this shape is still selected, click the modifier tab and set the selection mode to spline. Just click on this spline icon. Okay, select this all splines here of our created shape and then scroll down to the outline option just scroll down uh, look for the outline here it is now enable the outline by clicking on it okay now click on this uh, up arrow once and this will add a thickness to the shape with accordance uh, to the drag distance okay while uh, you are still at the modify tab select the lid from the modifier list you will then have to enable weld core and set to align to something else so just go go to the modifier stack and choose the lathe modifier and apply that on your object now on the lathe's uh, modifier parameter just to click on that uh, min and uh, at the down at the output section just choose patch now one thing you might note at that point sometimes the lathe modifier flips the surfaces so that the inside of the object is visible outside so go back to your respective viewport click C on your keyboard and let's see how our object is and that's good our object is looking fine so to make sure that uh, this does not happen to you, you may need uh, to enable flip normals. Let me show you what I mean. Just scroll down, scroll left to the flip normals and click on that. And you can see the changes. So that should make our ways ready. You may optionally apply texture to it uh, and the floor stand to create a more realistic looking furniture set. So I'm going to create some material for my this uh, furniture set. And let's uh, come back with my final render. And there we go. That's my final render. I had set uh, some texture for my render. And I hope uh, this concludes our tutorial. I hope that you'll, you'll learn many things from this.